So I just wanted to quickly let you guys know you can still use my code Fantasia over on the EA app when you're at checkout. You can use it for any of the Sims packs and this does include kits. If you do decide to use my code, I just want to say thank you so freaking much. Seriously, it does help support me and my channel. So it really does mean so much to me. And with that said, let's just go ahead and get right into the video. Hey everyone, it's Fantasia. Welcome back to another discussion video. So today we're going to be talking about the information that we know so far about the Sims 4 Lovestruck expansion pack. So it recently leaked. I did a video on that if you did not see it, but I'm sure you've heard about it. It's everywhere. And we even got the pack description. So I was going through that, really looking at it because I feel like there's a lot of little things mentioned. And yeah, so I decided to just, I don't know, dissect the description. That sounds really weird, but... <laughs> I made a list here of everything we know so far and if there's anything I'm missing please let me know and if there's anything I'm missing please let me know but before we get into the list let's do our notification shout out so this one goes to Lala Rose literally same I am loving the sound of this I know there's some mixed opinions but I will say I have seen a lot of positivity I'm so glad you're excited for this and hopefully when it releases you enjoy it so so much and thank you so much for your comment so if you guys want a chance to be in a notification shout out all you gotta do is comment down below and with that let's get into our list here. The heart bed is back. The love bed that we've all been waiting for. That's pretty much confirmed in the cover art. It's there and I feel like all of us have been waiting forever. This is like a small one but also such a big deal. One thing we don't know is if it's gonna vibrate or what. Is it gonna have any interactions? I don't know. Will it give our sims, you know, some different buffs if they woohoo in that bed? I have no idea. I'm really curious to find out. The next one is also from the cover art. Art, I decided to like look through the cover art first and stuff and then go over to the description. So chocolate covered strawberries that look like they're likely from a vendor. They're in like a little package and then two Sims are together and you know one of them is feeding them the chocolate covered strawberries. I am so ready to find out all the different interactions even just seeing that. I can just imagine how cute that interaction is going to be in game. So I'm very excited about that. So next up is the Cupid's Corner dating app. I am so interested to see what this is really going to be about. We find out a little bit of stuff through the description here. We can do things like get matches, of course, but we really don't know much about it. I'm hoping it's going to be a pretty in-depth system. It doesn't have to be crazy, but I'm hoping it's like a menu that pops up and, you know, I'm also hoping you can make a little profile and maybe you can even decide to be honest or to lie on your profile. And what if there's a catfish? When you meet them, will the sims kind of like react in a negative way. I'm really curious about all of that. I would love for them to add drama into the Cupid's Corner dating app. I also love that Cupid's Corner. That is so cute. So there is a new date planning system. When I read this, I was over the moon. Again, very excited to see what that's gonna entail. I've been wanting more in-depth dates for a long time now. I feel like they're very basic. We need more there. I just, I feel like dates mean nothing because they're all the same. Yes, you can choose different locations to go to, but the goals are always the same. They always feel the same. And I really think dates should feel unique. Like for example, if I go on a date with my significant other, I feel like they all feel different. You know, we're planning different things to do. Different dates have different settings and vibes and casual dates, more romantic dates. I don't know. There's just so much to it that isn't implemented. So I'm ready for that. What we do know is with the new date planning system, you're going to be able to choose what activities to do on dates. So that's fun. Yeah, like it's really going to make each date feel unique. And then it, the description mentions new games. I don't know what that means, but I really hope it's like new games that couples can play together. I think that would be so much fun. Also really great for date nights. And then there's also a romantic blanket that was mentioned. And I think it's what the Sims are kind of like lounging on in the cover art. So I'm assuming there's going to be different cuddle interactions with that blanket specifically. And I'm hoping it like sets the mood, the tone. It would be really cute for picnic dates you guys. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I am such a sucker for romance, love, you know, when there's like a storyline that is just so deep and I don't know, like, okay, let me tell you something. Vampire Diaries, I love the hell out of that show, but a big reason why I love that show, oh my god, I'm such a sucker for the love in that show. <laughs> 
<laughs> like, I just get so attached. The amount of times I cried watching Vampire Diaries, but there's so many shows that are like that and movies. And like, you know, I love A Walk to Remember, Dear John. I'm just all about that. And then I also love family gameplay, romance, and then family. I don't know. It's just, it's, it's going to make everything tie together perfectly. It's going to make growing together even better because yeah, I, I don't know. I feel like all this romance stuff can come first. Your Sims like finding their true love and like doing all these cutesy things with their significant other, blah, blah, blah. And then it like blossoms into them like getting married and then having kids. And then, you know, it goes into growing together and the family vibes. I don't know. I am so excited. <laughs> can you tell? So it also mentions in the description that there is going to be new cuddling interactions, like cuddling in bed, it says specifically. So I'm really wondering how many different cuddling interactions we're going to get. But cuddling in bed is something I actually specifically mentioned not even long ago. It was something I hoped for. So when I saw that, I was really happy. And then you know how there's going to be like a new dating system. They mention you can meet for a seductive date. And I'm just so curious. I need to know more information. A lot of people were saying, you know, what makes this an expansion pack? And I really think, first of all, you know, going through this and making a list, I actually think there's more to this description than what it looks like when you're first reading it. Because I was excited when I first read it, but then when I was actually jotting down everything they're mentioning, I was like, wait, okay, it's even more than what I thought. Descriptions are always pretty vague for all the packs, like even Cottage Living. And I feel like most, not all, <laughs> packs usually have a little more than what it's leading to be from the description. And I feel like this is one that will, whereas I feel like Horse Ranch, pretty much all they told us is all we got. But I don't know, because this is like expanding on romantic relationships, I do really think there's going to be even more than this. But I also think even what they're mentioning is going to be game changing because it's the type of features that kind of change your everyday gameplay. Most of us are having our Sims get with other Sims. You know, even if you're not a family player, most people will at least have have their sims get boyfriend and girlfriends and stuff like that and this pack will just be used in so many different ways even if your sim like you love them to be you know just that sim that woohoo's with everyone hooks up with everyone no serious relationships you're still going to be able to use this so i just feel like it's going to be so great for so many players so then there's a turn ons and turn off system this we obviously don't know very much about but i did jot down what i could gather from it from the description for example this is going to determine determine how attracted sims are to each other and i don't mean looks wise i mean there might be some things for looks we might be able to choose things like that like hair color and stuff like that like in previous sims games like the sims 2 but it seems like it's actually going to be deeper than that because it does mention that it'll include interests interactions and more so i think if two sims have similar interests it's going to determine how attracted they are to each other. And I love that. So another thing that I didn't realize with this description, they have it capitalized. So usually when something is a new feature, they will capitalize both words. So under the all about attraction, they have capitalized romantic satisfaction. So I take that as it's a new feature. And then they mention it'll unlock new seductive interactions. I'm just like, okay. Like, you know, when you really think Think about it this way these are new systems being implemented for our sims like everyday lives when it comes to romance i really dislike when expansion packs only include things like new objects to use don't get me wrong i love some new objects like new hobbies yes give me all of that but when that's all it is it can feel very empty and just like i don't know shallow this is gonna give us deep features it sounds like and i i'm all for that it also mentions that partners can have different satisfaction levels. And I feel like that's kind of all we know there when it comes to like the satisfaction stuff. So I'm really curious about it. Next up is relationship dynamics. That also wasn't clicking to me like when I first read it with you guys with the leak. And then I was like, oh, they're putting that as like a feature. Again, capitalized relationship dynamic. And then they mention different dynamics there will be like wholesome, steamy, strained, or unpredictable. I'm sure there's more. Maybe not. I don't know. But usually they don't list them all with the descriptions. But who knows? That could be all of them. I'm wondering if you can just get one or if Sims can have multiple romantic dynamics. So that reminds me of, you know, what we got like with growing together. We have the family dynamics and stuff and like parents can be strict, you know, all that. It reminds me of that, which I love. It really adds depth there that we never had before. Another thing is new romance skill. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong, but that's what it seemed like from the description. Under the four lovers of love, it specifically says romance isn't just a word. It's a skill. 
that unlocks seductive interactions. So I'm like, okay, are Sims going to start off with like no experience with romance and you know, they'll gain romance as they're romantic with other Sims. The skill will go up. They'll unlock more things they can do because can I just tell you, I have wanted that for so long. And even just that in itself is going to expand so much for me. It also looks like we're going to be getting new romantic aspirations. So I'm curious to know what those are. I feel like that's expected though. I would definitely think that would be a thing. And then romance consultant career. So basically you can make a career out of loving love. I love this. I'm so excited to see how this is going to be. Is this going to be hands-on? Are, are we going to be able to actually play this career or is it going to be rabbit hole? I really hope it's playable. I think that would be so much fun. You know, we can be little matchmakers. I really wanted something like that. So my dreams are going to be coming true if that's the case. And then of course we learned that the world is going to be a new city world. We still don't know what kind of world. It could still be Paris. It could be Mexico. People are thinking more so Mexico now because of how the description sounded. And yeah, like I could definitely see that. So I would not be surprised. And then lastly, but certainly not least, new singles hangout lot trait. So this is going to be a new lot trait that's going to attract Sims to come and mingle, single Sims specifically, of course, which is going to be so fun. I think that, uh, yeah, if I do a let's play or anything on this, that's going to be one of the first things I test out. And I think it'll be so much better because that's something I struggle with in my game. I just want a place where everyone comes and they're single and you're not just like, okay, like, are they in a relationship? This and that. Like, I don't know. Like everyone there is looking to date. So I think that's going to be fun. I'm all for new lot trades as well. I feel like they make the lots a lot more fun, but yeah, you guys, I think that's pretty much it. Of course they did mention the bonus items that you get if you pre-order, but I don't know. I don't, that's not really new features. It's just little bonus items you get. So I didn't really include anything about that. We did see some of the bonus items that we're going to be getting in one of the pictures that I included in my leak video. I might pop that up here, but anyways, you guys, what do you think about the features that we know so far? I'm genuinely really surprised about the list I was able to make because yeah, descriptions are always very vague and just leave us wanting to know more. I'm not worried this time like I was for Horse Ranch. I was, you know, very worried. I was like, okay, this really sounds like this is all it is. But this time around, these features they're mentioning, they're going to be deeper and you just know it because for example, turn ons and turn offs, obviously there's going to be so many more things to it that we don't know yet. I don't know. It's just the features they're listing are features that are clearly like a new system. It's not just like, oh, goats. You know what I mean? <laughs> Like the baby goats that we got in Horse Ranch and like, you know, the ability to make wine, which is cool and all, but it's like, okay, yeah, it's just going to be that. But these features, they all feel like they're going to be something deeper that we don't know much about yet. And who knows how much they'll really expand. So with that said, you guys, I'm going to wrap this up here. I hope you all enjoyed. Of course, go ahead and comment down below your thoughts and all of that. And I hope you guys are having an amazing day and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys. Then